In our analytical methods laboratory, we have a really good range of analytical equipment. Uh, we have chromatography, we have spectroscopy, um, and we even have a few techniques that you might not find in other laboratories. So we have a voltamic technique called polarography, which uses a mercury drop. Um, but we've got all the basics from infrared spectroscopy um, through to gas and liquid chromatography and a, and a whole load of others besides. So right from the first year, we get students in here analysing suspect powders, for example, using infrared spectroscopy. And then in the second year, they spend a lot of time in here. We have a module called Methods of Chemical Analysis where they look at lots of different forensic scenarios and how all the instrumentation in here can be used to analyse different kinds of forensic evidence. By the time they come through to their third year, they can choose to do a project with an analytical chemistry component. And in that case, we give them some training and they become competent to use the instrument and they get signed off with a competency sign-off sheet and then they work more or less unsupervised um, so they work very independently on the instruments doing their own project work whether that be with illicit drugs or looking at decomposition material for um, burial research or a whole range of other types of research as well. It's great that our students get a really good hands-on experience. We're very um, adamant that the students come and bring their samples in, put them on the instruments and run them themselves. There's none of this handing off the samples to the technicians and that gets run for them and they just get the results at the end. They're involved in the process right from the beginning. That means that when our students apply for jobs, they can say that they've actually worked on this instrument. And then we've had examples where students have had interviews for big forensic companies, and they've asked, what experience do you have? And what sort of quality control have you had to go through? And our competency um, approach that we use for our project students has been um, really recognised by external employers as one of the, the big draws that makes our students very employable.